let's cut the crap we all know what i'm going to review today is a brand new 390 adventure from ktm and if you are somebody that does not have more than 5 lakhs to spend on an adventure motorcycle this is the only bike you should buy and i'll tell you why Straight off the bat, let's get the similarities out of the way. The engine is the same exact engine that you get in the Duke 390. It's the same 373cc, 43bhp, 30... It's the same engine. It's made in the same plant. The gear ratios are also the same. The only minute difference is that the ECU is in a different state of tune. Let's move on to the new features of the Adventure 390. The seat height on the Adventure is a super tall 855 mm 20 more that you get on the duke 390 now in real life this is going to be a huge problem for short riders like me the seat is on the comfortable side it's so much more comfier than the duke and the pillion seat as well the handlebar is wider than the duke 390 and is much better for off-road situations the braking on this is immaculate. At the front you've got this huge 320mm disc and at the back you've got a 230mm disc which is more than enough. And as far as what I've experienced, the braking is just... It's mind-boggling. The braking is so good that when you just use the front brake, you know for a fact that you'll see yourself tilting forward. And I also know that you are not going to crash. This is also partly due to the very effective Bosch twin channel cornering ABS system which works like a charm. The cooling system on the Adventure is far more superior than what you get on the Duke 390. The entire radiator grill, it has been reshaped so it can house one fan on one side and another fan on the other side. On the 390 engine, the radiator was shaped in such a way that there was only one fan in the center. The other change that you can see is that the coolant reservoir is now below the fuel tank. The one thing that I can tell you for sure is that when you're with this bike in traffic, your legs are not going to melt away. The suspension houses a 43mm upside down fork system from WP and has a longer suspension travel to compensate all sorts of terrain. The ground clearance has been increased to 200mm, 15mm higher than what the Duke offers. But all of these changes, do they translate to anything when you are riding? much more than what you ask for when it comes to the electronic sector on this motorcycle. You get features like the bi-directional quick shifter and corner ABS, both which are alien to the segment and price range. The bike still is very light, they've only gained about 15 kilos from the Duke 390. The 373cc engine still provides its signature punch at high RPMs and virtually this bike is still as fast as the Duke 390 in a straight line. You want a bike to take to the city during traffic, you get this bike. You want a bike for those highway runs, you get this bike. You want a bike to climb a bloody mountain, you take this bike. I would like to conclude by saying that this bike is an all-rounder and at this price range, the number of features you get, the punched up engine packs and just the rider feel and the quality of the motorcycle, it's just so amazing. When you're in the market with a certain budget, you do not even need to think twice before buying the 390 Adventure. I would like to thank KTM Makwadi for making this video possible. The staff were amazing, they were very helpful and I suggest like whenever you need to buy a motorcycle, especially from KTM, you approach them. KTM Akwadi is now also opening their Husqvarna and Chetak stands in the showroom and they have also the new Duke 200 and 390 for display. So do check them out. Thank you for watching our video, like, subscribe and share the video with your friends and family. 
I'm Tane from The Drivers Up, signing off.